When writing programs, we often need to copy an object. And there are two mechanisms for doing that. We can use a copy constructor, or we can use memberwise copy, which is, which is really just assignment. But we use memberwise copy when we're talking about assignment of class objects, because what's happening is each private data member is being copied over, which is why we call it memberwise copy. The good news is, is for simple classes, like the ones we've been considering, there is a copy constructor and there's a memberwise copy operator that works. A little later on, when we start talking about self-referential classes, uh, we'll learn that we actually need to overload copy constructors and implement them ourselves, and we'll also have to overload the memberwise copy operator or the assignment operator. But as long as you're using uh, the basic types, integer, double, and also class objects like the string that can copy themselves, then you don't need to worry about implementing your own copy constructor or your own memberwise copy. And you, you'll see this in the screencast where I'll demonstrate. So let's say that, that I have a time object. I'm just going to demonstrate how to use these things because they already exist. So in Maine, for example, this is, this is where I would do this demonstration. I'm going to create a time object, and I'll just create a time object, T1, hours, minutes, and of course the explicit constructor stores 7 in the private data member hours and stores 12 in the private data member minutes. And I'll do some output here. So if I see out T1, then of course we're going to see 7, actually 07, colon 12. Now if I want to make a copy, if I want to construct another time object, T2, using T1, Whoops. using T1, then this is a call to the copy constructor. And what's going to happen is out in memory, I get space allocated for the time object T2. Of course, it has hours and minutes. And the copy constructor copies the, pri the values for the private data members from T1 into T2 to construct it. So T2 will be a perfect copy of T1. And now if I see out T2, I get the same output. So this is an example of a copy constructor. And this code will work. We have not provided an implementation of the copy constructor in our time class. Uh, there is a default implementation, and it works just fine for our purposes. Another way that you can make a copy of an object is using memberwise copy. So let's say, for example, I want to construct a new time object T3 and then I can use assignment to make a copy of T1. Again, what's going to happen is out in memory, I'm going to get T3 with hours and minutes. It's going to copy memberwise the elements of T1 into T3, and so I get 7 and 12. If I see out T3, I'm going to see the same output. One final example, I can construct a new time object T4 using the default constructor. And then later on, during program execution, I can just use assignment to, well, T1, T2, T3, it doesn't really matter. 
And what this is going to do is this is going to copy T2 into T4. So again, at this point, when we execute the default constructor, we're going to get a time object T4 in memory with hours and minutes. And the default constructor is going to set hours to zero and minutes to zero. Then when we execute this assignment statement, this memberwise copy operator is going to copy the values from the private data members of T2 into the private data members of T4, at which point hours will become 7 and minutes will become 12. So these are all the different ways. Let me just finish my main program here for the sake of completeness. And you should, you know, type this in and try it yourself. So these are all the different ways that you can construct an object from another object. So you can use the copy constructor, you can use member wise assignment at the time of construction, then you can also use assignment between objects once they've been constructed at any point during execution. Well, I guess I should really finish this off by printing out the value of T4 and of course it's going to be the same.